Hello Frenzy, my name is Kate Sherkin, and welcome back to Backbone. So we are on the epilogue now, so this will be the final episode of Backbone. And let's continue on, figure out what's going on. Hello Clarissa. Minister, I trust you're well. I'm fine. I'm fine, Bloodworth. Just busier than usual. Is the next delivery still on track? Indeed. I haven't heard from you in a week. Anything on your mind? Uh, no, the delivery will be there. Good. I must inform you that a most peculiar incident has occurred. Someone broke into my office. Any clues who could have tipped them off? Uh, oh, my condolences. Of course, to speak directly now. Do you have any information concerning who would have done such a thing? No, but if I hear anything, you'll be the first to know. All right. I believe you for now. Thank you, hope you find the culprit soon. Of course, if you hear something on the grapevine, let me know, please. This could impact us both. I understand, stay safe. Hmm. Goodbye, Clarissa. Have a wonderful evening, Minister. Goodbye. Oh, so now we're Clarissa. We're going sassy now. <laughs> Enter the bar. What's happening? Oh, fuck. I won't be intimidated, you know. Uh, not trying to intimidate you. So being summoned at gunpoint is your idea of friendly? Uh, it's, uh, it was the only way I could guarantee you'd come. You're not supposed to... You're not used to people turning you down, are you? Suze, make yourself useful elsewhere. How'd you find me? Some junkie let slip your name to one of my dealers, Bloodworth. You need to tell me what you know about Howard now. Shit, I think I got her in trouble. He's infected with a DNA splicing organism. What organism? What do you mean? Change your bio biology, your kind, from the inside. Uh. What? Where did it come from? All that matters is the apes no longer have it. I don't know the science minister found it. Fuck, Clarissa, please just tell me what happened. How did you hurt him? He escaped. You didn't follow him? He's alive. Where? I think he is. We could look for him, you and I. I think he is. We could look for him, you and I. You're not that fucking smart if you think I'll do anything with you. Is that why you brought me here? What, honey? It's not time to eat yet. Uh, a mind like yours could surely have to You want to find out what I know and tidy up your loose ends. For all I want us to work together. I knew you were crazy, but you think I want to work with a mob boss that conspired with the ruling elite to eat the innocent? You don't know the whole story. I'd love to hear it, but I wonder how reliable the narrator would be. These are not great people. Rapists, abusers, wife beaters. Even scum doesn't deserve to be eaten. Maybe, but it helped me get... But it helped me get control of the apes. You're a murderer. It might be, but it's over now. Do you want me to pat you on the shoulder? I read your book. You've proved that you're not afraid of the apes. So I'm afraid of them, not more than ever. I want to bring down the apes and their wall. Excuse me? They need sunlight to stir up a revolution. You. You'd be the change of intelligent in charge of intelligence. It's you. You're gonna be fucking mine. No, just furious. <laughs> Maybe it's, but that's what makes me good at what I do. Do you mean to literally bring down the wall? Well, it's not weird. It's a waste of resources and a symbol of fear. Uh, when you see what's possible beyond it, you'll know. The wall is there for a reason. There's nothing but death beyond it. I've been out there. It's safe and more. What, what are you saying? People can live out there by their own rules. Technology and how, and you know this how? 
the technology that infected the loader, it was found there. Oh, and I had a tunnel build. It comes out far away from the wall. I can take you there if you'd like. I don't understand. You are working with the apes. How exactly do you think things will improve when they're not in power? Women won't have to murder their way into a life of comfort. I read your book, you know the answer. They won't be around, that's enough. I can't really argue with that. The revolution will happen slowly, inevitably, like a tide. The military, the police, they're loyal to the apes. They'll squash it before it builds any momentum. People will die violently. Cause cracks in the ranks. They can be widened. They're loyal to power. We'll show them who has it. They'll find ways to make them resent the apes. That's true. Um, it's a lofty ambition for a murderer, drug, wow, drug pimp. You already have power. Why are you risking over losing this? So women can rule yourselves. I mean, it's not wrong. Okay. <laughs> It's not real power, I want the real thing, freedom. I'll just be helping and sell you as a disc taker. No, I want others to step up. That's the last thing I want. And what's in it for me? I risk everything by trusting you and you expect me to forgive you? Uh, you get to help change the world, which you have to decide that. That could be this thing. Maybe for the worse, or maybe it changes me no longer being in it. Have you considered me you made me feel delusional if I make promises I can't keep? I'm sure men have called you that, but you don't listen. Well, blood worth has been life. Can I go now, or is there something else? Of course, they get over you have two days. And if I miss the deadline, uh, then I will leave you alone. I trust you to make the right choice. Blood worth, I still think you're a conniving piece of shit, but I'm not saying no. Be sure I'll tell you my thoughts one way or the other. Uh, that's all I ask. Good luck, Renee. Okay. I think these themes are hitting a little too on the head. Renee, at last, have been easier to get a uh, table... At you the invitation still open by the way the oyster to buy for oh you called i didn't notice um something came up personal you know, so important that you can't even speak to me has the latest draft of the chapter of my department coming along the way uh let's just say things are becoming clear to me my girl i'm glad to hear it i knew if i kept a light touch you'll find your muse again when can i read the new edits uh when you write them yourself. I'm not sure I understand whether you're making a joke or suffering from one of your episodes. I must say, I'm in no mood for games today. I'm tired, it's time to move, not tired. Are you forgetting thousands of loons I already invested you to say nothing of, to say nothing of my reputation? You wanna make an enemy of me? No, I just wanna be true to myself. You're nothing without me. You had one failed book and now you have the chance for greatness. You'll never have someone like me on your side again. Uh, I didn't realize your ego was quite so fresh. I thought you were a fool, but clearly yours is just suicidal. Very well. See how you like me as an enemy rather than your patron. Threat me all you want. I've been through the fire. Fire? What do you know about fire? You're a pampered, failed writer with no idea how the world really works. I only regret I didn't do this sooner. Howard's letter. Uh, perhaps he didn't say where he was. Perhaps he didn't know. Think about the note. It was brave of him to be sent, not to be sentimental to warn me now that I know about Science City, but it was cost. He could still be alive. He didn't you didn't deserve this, my friend. What would you think about Bloodworth's author? Well, I wish I could ask you. At least he knew I was looking for him. Fuck Harry, why didn't you come back to me yet? Chris said people could live over the wall. Who knows? Maybe there are things there and Howard will find them. Is it all my fault? I'm convinced I'm going to sense it. made him feel it was our last chance. It's my fault, so I have to make him proud. Let's see right away. I'll finish what we started. Okay. Make the tea. 
cup of tea will make me feel better before we for the call. Same he made for me. I of him. I miss him. We had a real connection. It's rare. He's gone now, maybe forever, but he gave me hope. That could be different. That the, the future. I'll hold on to it. It's time. I thought I made green tea. Sofa, no time to relax. Call Howard's mom. I can do this, you owe it to him. Call Howard's mom. Beep beep. It's my duty to wing it like he did. Fuck, come on. Hello, who is this? My name is Renee. Who is this concerning your son? Okay. We are here. We are our we are all who preserve. We are all. We are all who dare to ask. <laughs> What's the use in questions when the answer is all the same? The end is built into the beginning. We come into existence and then we come out of it. We were once a baby. We used to be a man. A million glimmering identities all fighting for control over one another, but became of this man. What happened to us all? We become a miserable husk of our own flesh, full of regret. We survived. We kept on separate ourselves into atoms and pull the threads of origin, follow their path from the moment of conception and until the nowness, what do we see? Flesh that speaks again, we are, we are, we are. A collection of past forms and lives not yet lived, things not that happened, things that are bound to happen. Humming, uh, a humming harmony of being perpetual becoming. Uh, we are at peace when the landscape of the past and future and its dizzying complexity is laid out in front of us. What would our choice be? There is no choice. The choice is made. We become. We pre and we preserve. We change. We can't escape the pain. Let the pain become us. Revel in its beauty. We change, but we change, we change nothing. Somewhere. Oh, fuck. Oh, it's Howard. Can't run. Is this beyond the wall? Poor Howard. Wait, what's happening? Okay. Um. Hmm. The valley was 
the trooping round, gathering, putting value on me. Um, that was Backbone. Um, I liked it. I loved the art. I loved the music. The story, I think, was so much packed into such... I think it was just so much packed in there. Um, I don't know, maybe I didn't pick the right choices, so I didn't get a full understanding of what was happening or what. It was a good story, and I think it had... I think, I think you could have done a whole thing on her just doing the meat alone um, and the cannibalism, but it, it became so much. I think it was just so much packed into such a short game, and it was hard to really understand and why... And like I said, I must have picked, I bet I picked wrong choices and things like that, so maybe you don't get the full understanding of it. Um, but I don't, I don't know. It's, it wasn't bad. I think it definitely needed maybe a different way of explanation. Like, what is over the wall? What, I think there was a lot packed in there, and maybe I needed to pick different things to get a better understanding of everything. But I think there's just so much packed into this world and they only give you the so much time to figure everything out. And I think that's just the one underlying part of it that just kind of fell flat. Because it's it was like I said, it's almost like Zootopia and Venom and and I mean, it was just so much. And I think the game needs to be a little bit longer so you got a real understanding, like, yeah, the apes are these overlords, humans, obviously. Um, and they, they basically ruin this world and all this stuff. And there's a lot of metaphors in there. I just think it was just so much packed into such a little product. And I think if it was given the right opportunity to really give backgrounds on this, it would have been great. It would have been fantastic. Or maybe just simplify the story a little bit. Um, but it... It wasn't a bad game. I actually thoroughly enjoyed it. I think it was just so much. Um, and that being said, uh, it, I think I kind of want to play as Renee. Like I think Renee had all, you know, a lot more. Like I think there should have been more in between. Like maybe go as Renee and see her side of things. Go as uh, Howard, see some of that. I think there needed to be more uh, of. I think there needed to be more other characters implemented since you have these other characters in there. Maybe see their perspective so you could have gotten more insight. Um, but that being said, it was a, it was a good game. Uh, I don't know if I necessarily would play it ever again, honestly. Um, but that being said, uh, I am going to leave it off there. The graphics were wonderful. Music was fantastic. I could have listened to a whole album by that first song you hear in the bar. Um, so th that's that. I mean, well done team. I think it was great, beautiful. It was beautiful artwork and whatnot. I think it just, the story needed a little bit of tweaking. But that's just me. Um, but that being said, thank you all so much for watching. Be sure to chomp down the like button. If you did like it, leave a comment down below with any other game suggestions or video ideas that you'd like to see from me. Share this channel with your friends and subscribe to the channel if you have not done so already to see other videos that I've done. I will see you all for the next one.